So I want to talk with you about setting expectations. Different musicians have different expectations for their careers. You really need to understand this and what you expect to accomplish so that you know where to aim and how to create a strategy for yourself. Like most anything in life, there can be different levels of achievement and that's fine. It's really not about other people's meaning of success. Because you might be perfectly happy playing gigs out on the weekend. That might be just exactly what you want. It's really about defining what success means for you. So let's look at five different definitions for success so you can see what I mean. Number one, a weekend warrior. You know, you have a pretty small local following. You have a few songs out there. You don't get much notice out of your local region, but you can play, you know, a few local club gigs on the weekends when it fits into your schedule. And people enjoy it when you play out, your friends come. And for the most part, you're doing it for fun, for yourself. This is where music is really a hobby, and that can be just fine. That can be your level of success. Two, emerging artist. Here you've developed a larger following. Maybe you can tour regionally. Maybe you've released a few EPs and you're starting to get some college radio airplay. And you can play small club gigs and your fans will go out specifically to seek you. Now at this point, income from your music may start to become more significant, but you probably can't quit your day job. And there are a lot of people operating at this level and that's just a fine level of success. Number three, established artist. Now here you've, you've released your first major uh, record. You've got an opening spot on a larger regional tour with a bigger band. You may get a spot on a smaller stage of a festival. Your career's starting to move. Regionally, people know your music and you might be getting radio airplay on smaller indie and college radio stations across the country. TV and movie makers might be seeking out your songs for use in a TV episode. And music at this point may be your full-time job and represent all of your income. This level is what a lot of people strive for. Number four, the star. You might have a few full-length records out there. Your new releases are much anticipated by your fans. You get coverage from pretty influential bloggers and magazines. Bigger radio stations around the country are picking you up and playing your music, and you might be able to headline a national tour. Your music hasn't withstood the test of time yet, but at the moment you're successful. This is a level of expectation that a lot of people shoot for, but very, very few get there. And number four is the superstar, or the icon. Your music is just everywhere. Everyone knows about you and your music. You can tour internationally whenever you want, and your music has withstood the test of time. Now this isn't something that you can accomplish overnight. You need to be continuously pumping out amazing content to make the leap to this level and you have to be doing it for years and years and years. Now ask yourself what level do you realistically want to operate at? Where do you want to get to? Any one of these levels it is fine. You just need to know yourself figure out where you want to get to, and then put a plan in place to get there.